guys, hope you're well. So today I'm going to show you chicken and potato pastries. It's always a family favourite. As always, you can buy everything from your local Indian supermarket. So let's get started. 500 grams of chicken fillet cubed, two medium potatoes cubed and parboiled, 50 grams of butter, half a teaspoon of fresh chilli paste, or you can add more if you want it to be more spicy. One teaspoon of fresh garlic paste, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a teaspoon of black pepper, about five tablespoons of tomato ketchup, three tablespoons of uh, oil, and ready pack pastry squares. You can use any brand found in your local Indian grocers. And uh, I'm going to cut these in half, which will give me 20 pastries. For this recipe, you will need two packs. Okay, so we're going to preheat the oil for about one minute on medium heat and to add the chicken inside we're going to let that carry on cooking till the water evaporates while that's happening we're going to make the tasty part of the filling okay so we're going to preheat the pan and add the butter Be careful because then um, it might uh, sizzle and spatter. Okay, so we're just going to add the ginger paste and let that cook for about half a minute on low heat. Add the chilli paste. Chilli's um, obviously up to you depending on how much kick you want. Add in the black pepper and the cumin powder. Mix that in. You should be able to start smelling the lovely aroma now. We'll just add the salt and the tomato ketchup. That goes in. Just make sure that's all mixed up together and let that cook for about two minutes. While that's happening, we're just going to check on the chicken. There's still some, it's quite a fair bit of water in there, so we're just gonna let that carry on cooking. Okay, so the sauce is about done, so I'm just gonna switch that off and put that aside. Okay, that looks about done, and then the water's evaporated and Throw in all the potatoes. Mix that in gently. Pull the sauce in. Gently mix that all together. So the mixture is all done. You can also add in sweet corn, cheese, spring onion, chili sauce, and you can garnish this with um, fresh coriander as well, and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice to give it some extra zing. So I've got my filling, I've got my pastry sheets cut in half, and I've got some water to seal the edges. So let's start filling. Oh my God, look at my blue thumb. That was from me making a frozen theme cake earlier on. Anyhow, right, so what we do first is we fill, we put some filling in there. And then we put some water and this will seal it. Put some water? That's right, put some water. You can have some of these. Yeah. Yeah. I put the in a bit And I press the, the sides like this. Yeah. And there you go, a nice pillow. There you go, that's the last of it. And they're all done. And what I'll show you next is to put the egg wash over them and then to bake them and they will come out with a golden brown colour. 
And if you do have any leftover filling, then uh, my husband normally makes a grilled cheese sandwich and it's ever so tasty. That's another easy recipe for you guys to make. So try it out. I'm just going to put some holes in there to let the steam out while it's in the oven. This is just egg white. What we're going to do is brush it all over so it goes lovely and golden brown. These are ready to go in and I really can't wait for these to come out. We're going to put these in for about 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. 180 degrees. All done, look at these, golden crispy brown. Can you hear that crispy crunch? Look at that lovely tasty chicken potato filling. Goes really well with ketchup, chutney or by itself. Try it out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Subscribe to see more and don't forget to thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you next time. It really tastes nice. You can, you can smell that lovely, I'm, I'll, I'll be cutting these in, why am I getting confused there? I'm just going to poke some holes in there.